Welcome back everyone and welcome to my channel. Good talk to you once again and today I'm thinking to share with you my personal opinion about some premium tier 8 ships and especially the cruisers. Now, um, you know, they are different between different types of uh, cruisers but for some operation, for some missions, some game modes, I honestly believe the cruisers are the way to go and I can definitely show you I played today three battles and my latest uh, battles let's talk about the uh, RP Takao or shall I say Atago RP Takao or Ta Atago it's literally the same ship so if you pay attention this is my la latest battle this is the operation I earned 680,000 credits without a premium account this is without a premium account kind of important it's I only made 143 of which very few over pen and uh, most of was was full pen of 143 129 was full pen of course 10 fire 6 uh, uh, kills and you know 6 9 citadels you can do that uh, playing in this game mode uh, but also kind of important two torpedo hits and uh, of which this is probably the combination uh, you really want to level up the Japanese uh, captain and I do have also the best captain to level up and and that is the Yamamoto um, especially in random battle uh, for operation you cannot achieve this special talent uh, which is a second wind uh, you see <laughs> then your uh, the reload of main battery reload time minus 34 percent you can only do that in ra 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 random battle not as much as in uh, unavailable for clan or training battles but not even for the operation i don't think you can do that uh, no you can't and you know that's the talent of, about an emergency reverser it, it's a good captain probably one of the best uh, Japanese captain but probably not for the operation but random battle hell yes because then you have a crazy good reload time so this is what I'm I have it now of course very fast I like talk about this captain uh, this is my build I go back is it uh, any good yes it is good and just to mention uh, did I I was by experience topping my team with 1472 um, and details reports I did what I did uh, yes 147,000 and uh, fires 11,000 so with torpedo also 12,000 so keep that in mind now let's go to the next ship and that is also uh, the reason I'm making this video it's the mains with the mains guys uh, it was much much harder I was alone with a uh, destroyer at the end all my uh, allies die they die life you see here the same uh, base experience and uh, if you pay attention to the details and because I want to you know to figure I over here I did what four times close to four times more uh, main battery hits yes of which was 403 uh, he and also um, ap not so many but sure you you can definitely do it with your ap so the ap of mains are not bad as long as you hit something light as a light cruisers and so on secondary not a whole lot fires 15 fire for 19 but it's the combination guys of because um, you see the reason you do 509 and if you pay attention it was a lot of non pen and ricochet and so on and over pen some of them but of course most of it was 378 full pen and 15 fires and seven kills and six citadel so it, it's definitely um, why it's one of the best probably the best uh, cruiser at tier 8 especially for the operation uh, it is the mains where you have there's the mains mains black b this captain makes the mains up and even more strong and why is that unlike the japanese yamamoto you do can have this stupid main battery reload time uh if you hit your enemy one, 140 times 
So, you know, then, I don't know what the heck, 4.5 second rear load, 12 guns, it's OP as all hell. So this you can achieve in every single coup battle with this captain. Uh, you know, this is a high DPM uh, monster, but with this captain and this uh, talent activate, it's a freaking monster. It's by far the best tier 8 cruiser in this game. And for the last one also, let's see what we have. The, another operation. We got uh, 368, so this is in between, not as much as, let's say, uh, the mains but also a pretty damn good it's the buyer okay over here i receive a huge amount of experience i have no idea why but probably i knew exactly where to shoot um not as much damage but overall fires i do believe i did a lot more oh 27 fires <laughs> whole and two citadels yeah so yeah of course Mm, you you have a great opportunity to make a lot of fires uh, the shells are kind of a floaty i'm talking about the um, uh, this ship by art it's not in a, a black uh, friday ship but i want to make those uh, three ships they are probably one of the strongest not the strongest but one of the strongest uh, tier eight uh, and fun tier 8 cruises you can have it uh, ladies and gents there is something there very much like to say if you do not want to spend one single dime uh, yes you probably won't do a whole lot that damage and a whole lot uh, let's say um, um, so many hits like mains because mains probably it's number one in hitting your enemy and making buttloads of uh, damage but uh, nonetheless this was a reward ship i did not and uh, never paid this uh, one but for remains i did pay um uh, so i did um there is something else i very much like to t talk about and there is the mogami mogami also is a great ship to have to research if you let's say don't want to spend a dime in this game and you're a new uh, player what uh, zera what uh, regular test tree ship do i recommend uh, to grind at least to gain a lot of uh, damage record a lot of kills a lot of uh, uh, you know experience overall uh, sure um, one of my favorite tier 8 cruiser it's the mogami it's absolutely ridiculous strong especially in this game mode it's 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 just a lot of fun to play and the shells i mean serious this this firepower versus bot ship and some operation it's just hilarious even in the random battle in, in right hands if you have uh, good skills about playing a cruiser it's a squeezy cruiser it's a long it's a very big ship but on on the less it's fun it's it's agile and you turn very good and you get consumed it's great however there is uh, two more ships that i very much like to say they are very darn strong and frankly they are overpower uh, especially being a tech three free ship to grind everyone can do it i mean these guns are not the tier eight guns it's a tier nine guns guys and by far one of the strongest non-premium ship together with mogami let me know guys in a comment below did i miss something yes i did miss and there is of course the chapayev why do not not pick uh, cleveland or uh, this one also i received this one for free it's because it's a floaty shells you will do a lot of damage if you know but the range are bad versus let's say tulling and the penetration it's bad yes the fire are great with cleveland and this rocher but i still honestly believe in in, in some operation the chapayev and tulling are by far even stronger thanks to the higher dpm and you will uh, hit more of your shells uh, yes, the biggest downside with Tallinn, that's the only one thing it's, it's bad about this, that's the only one, it's bad reload time. What is the damn reload time? It is, yes, 12.5 seconds. So it's even slower than a Mogami, you know, but if you use it, uh, you know when to use the AP, it's a uh, freaking, I don't know, this has uh, the chapa, 